guys are welcome back to my channel how are you doing i hope you guys are doing okay so new new apple free i've been doing energy his diary sessions and some diary session has been blowing up some you know some have been just there now mashallah finished work this morning ah so we never knew on oh, mashallah let me call it well, not on Marshalla. I have I know someone that is on Marshalla, so that's why I'm always calling this one. On Marshalla, uh -huh, is always, always and always the loud guy that people like because he will give you vibes. People have been asking why didn't this guy come as um a real housemate? You know how why why did he bring this kind of? But I don't know. You know, Prince went on um, his media rounds. I told you, but Solani declined media rounds, so we haven't seen hers. Ne uh, Prince went there and said they invited him the first time. He rejected. Maybe he said he was too busy and the timing and all. Then Alex made him make a promise that if they invite, if they ever call him back, for even if to appear one day on the show, that he has to go. You understand? So. I don't know if they called on Mashallah and he felt the show wasn't going to be a big thing and it became a big thing. That's the truth. Me, I don't know. But the guy, people are like, why is this guy a fake housemate? He spilled the tea that Kimopra was actually his one time girlfriend, like they dated an ex. Because that was the reason he didn't pick her for BFF. He has a, f a fiance um, that, you know, has a child for him. They are getting married. That picking on Marshall, as somebody said, old firewood, the quick catch fire. So, picking on Marshall, he doesn't want to, you know, that is how you remove yourself from occasion of sin for we Christians. Like, if I go here, I know that I'm going to commit the sin, then let me not go there. You try to avoid that occasion of sin. So, Marshall doesn't even want to take him upstairs, you know, just one story that touch. That's one thing he said. And Kim was angry, like, when a Marshall went one. Kim was like very sure that oh I'm going upstairs. I'm too supposed to really get something with before. But the guy just used sense, say you're in a ship. I don't want to take you across this year. And on Marshall um Kim was like, Are we could join twins? Even if he's pere, you know, if, if he's a pere and new are still wearing this thing they are wearing together, it was sweet too. Because I mean, once you pick I mean once you pick um you don't pick me because they wear that their twin clothes and go upstairs. Finally, Biggie freed them. They just removed it. They had to enter diary room with it together. And Neil was complaining, "Me brother, this guy fat inside this. I had to, we had to take a shit together." I say, "Ah, you rich like that? Now, wow, this punishment. This punishment is not small children uno. Somebody will be putting to be smelling you. Stay there because people are joined together. How? I don't even understand. Is <laughs> how did they share the toilets?" <laughs> I don't know because I heard someone complaining that these two people are in the toilet too. That they wanted they wanted to use the toilet, but new and Perry, they are together, they've been there. And it's true. So finally people are free and they promised they will never whisper. And Perry was even drunk when he did that. He he was he said he, he, that night that Perry, the first time Perry was drunk was just picking place plenty plenty English. That was the nice he did the whispering. And again, Omar Oma Shola also said something about Messi. He said, Big Brother, if you ask me to pick one housemate as BFF, that would be messy. Big Brother, when I came into this house three weeks ago, I announced I was getting married. After they had the table peace talk with the Indian lady, I announced that they are, they are getting married, that he is getting married. And that Messi took him to the garden and said, he said this was even long before he even won anything head of house or anything so mercy took him to the garden and said oh mashallah look you've been out of the country for years and the rest i have a four bedroom apartment in lekki and i have a car i'm not sure i'll be using anytime soon if you need them they are at your disposal the guy so that your people you know you'll be bringing family from overseas you know so that your people will have where to stay and also a car to move around. Omar shall I say, you know, believe him. Say, who on this earth you just do that kind of thing for him? You know, that that is why that mercy, that mercy is special to him. You know, 
she was blowing Messi's trumpet and i went through the comment section we don't know these people we just see them on the show for a couple of months and we use it to judge their whole lives right and one thing there's there's something about this messy girl hmm? this messy is so smart i'm telling you people, this conversation i put now that you people watched hmm? you see messy is just reading everything but we think she's blank we think she doesn't know anything because of her accent, some people say she knows Sabia and tea, but that girl is smart. Now, she was talking about what doing was talking about Venita and how she messy removed herself from the mean girl's tag. That Tolani said this, she dragged Tolani into the bathroom to understand. I beg, I hope I don't follow this thing. And when she found out it was revolving around Venita, if you notice the relationship of Mercy and Venita, it was like it was severed one kind. This was the reason Mercy purposely removed herself from Venita, her supposedly close friend outside. But they are not fighting. But you rarely see them together because she doesn't want that tag. The way this girl has not had, unless Kayode does not want to put Messi with too much highlight. We've not seen Messi's bass boost. But the way she plays this game, you just be. I, I've been observing her. And when she now said that Doni was not talking about all the things Venita said, even accusing her of going after Libaye's cross, and that she said Venita was her friend, so she couldn't speak. I'm like, this girl, this girl. You know, she agreed with all Doni said, but she couldn't make a comment because, you know, how Messi is playing both loyalty, both are no one step on toes, and still being in the show. Me, I don't understand. And even when she gives highlights, we don't see. But then again, she and Sissy, she and no say they can't go head on head. So they are just rather. And Sissy said she was close to Messi before she came on the show, anyways. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you guys. Bye.